she was emphasizing in greater accountability in governance, high levels of literacy to our people, and improved health conditions of our people. You know, she was emphasizing on planning and implementing schemes in programs in poverty, poverty elevation. And the ultimate what I could see is giving power to the local institutions. She wants to empower poor. She wants to empower poor so that they can make their own decisions in terms of having the basic amenities. That is what has been said in many chapters. You know, the problems of hunger, the problems of portable drinking water, the problems of disease, epidemic, illiteracy, etc. has to be solved by themselves is the devolution of powers. Devolution of economic powers are to them. You know, that is a beautiful, a positive feature which she has uh, given to the readers. As you all know, you know, after destructuring of our system by colonial powers, I'm sorry to say, we are trying to build up a new nation. 60 years is small time, is a lesser time. To order to find our institutions in a better way. But the main point here is I have observed over the past 14 years of my political experience and also as a social scientist, a student, I see the institutions of the colonial power are still there. The institutions outlook should be changed. Their intentions should be changed. The institutions which are meant to uphold the colonial power are still there to, in some other form to maintain the supremacy. So in democracy, we have an existence of the colonial institutions. That is where the contextual situation has come. We have to find a solution for this. And the solution of late, the many bureaucrats and many academicians are trying to find out and we are trying to gear up for we are literally trying to gear up for the next century onslaught of trying to address all these problems you know coming back to so many other things which i have gone through but i'm not able to really put into picture but post 2004 if harper collins would give an opportunity to miss sumita dabraji <laughs> we would be more happy what real difference have we made to the people of Karimnagar and the people of Andhra Pradesh? I can see, you know, I don't want to enlist what the programs are. Programs are always there. Program implementation. She said, uh, trying to quote in Cambodian experience as reviewing process. Things are going in the same way what you have desired and what you have thought about. And we are always on the same stride. We are trying to think about it. Last but then the least, I would like to say a few points about uh, Sumita Dabraji. You know, she, has, she was and still remembered as an excellent collector of the Karnataka district. And she's offered a lot of her services to the vast population of our district. And in sincerely saying from the from my heart, she has made a difference to the lives of a multitude of people in my district by diligently working towards their development. Her efforts to solve, you know, literally solve the problems of weavers of Sicily. I I haven't gone through the weavers problems, which is also always a pertinent problem here. Weavers of Silla, she has addressed to it with the best means what she had. You now, tackling the child labor, what I said, her passion, definitely, these are all things are praiseworthy for us today. And today she has an assignment in Beijing, managing economic diplomacy. So, what I seen from the close quarters, I had an opportunity, literally I had an opportunity to work closely with her as a public representative. 
and also as a district congress committee president wherein both go together in systems of democracy. I have seen from the close quarters of zeal and enthusiasm in working for upliftment of poor and the downtrodden. I had a good working relationship with her. Sometimes frictions of five books aside, which are normal, I mean I am saying which are normal with the public representatives. And democracy gives such freedom which will evolve into a vibrant democracy. That's what I had an interaction with her. Thanks for that. And she also was very keen in taking up very, you know, very big important development projects in my constituency. And I also wish again her to write the development story post-2004 of uh, Karimnagar, which is spirited, which is alive, which would be, you know, face for other developmental theories. So I would like to wish her, wishing her all, all the best. I wish you all the leaders, all the academicians. I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't gone through the book totally. I was addressing to you all, if there are any errors or mistakes, you know, please be fair enough to correct me back. And uh, it would be most welcome. Wishing you all happy Sankranti. Thank you.